hello 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 welcome to part two of my video I am Crystal O and I'm just going to be sharing some tips and just a little bit of truth on how I passed my licensed clinical master social worker exam okay because trust me these exams are kind of crazy like I really am not a fan of standardized testing I really wish they would just throw it all away okay because it just doesn't make sense to me you know but anywho we're here and we're here to learn how to pass so let's go ahead and get into some tips um just a quick background my name is crystal crystal o tv crystal o if you are new here make sure to subscribe you are loved here you are wanted here i'm rooting for you here um but yes i am crystal o and i basically have a background in um a bachelor's of psychology and then i got my master's degree in social work and then i got my lmsw and then i got my lcsw now so let's kind of chat a little bit about you know how i landed here so if you know of course you're watching this video um you might know you might be in the process of it you might be learning about just the journey of how to even get here i do have a part one video that i put up so make sure to watch that one if you just want to learn more about my background uh, more extensively um, but if you just want to learn more about the process and tips just keep on watching um anywho so tip number one don't tell nobody okay do not tell anybody when you're taking your exam and i don't say this in a be hidden or secretive or you know out of fear i say this because our bodies like our bodies are just just pick up on what we're doing who we're talking to what we're saying how we're saying it so if you're telling people you're taking an exam this really big career changing exam then everyone knows when you're taking it and then the day of the exam or the days prior to the exam you just have all this pent-up anxiety in you based off of others and how they might feel if you don't pass it or the shame you might feel if you fail it so my tip is just to say hey you know what just keep it to yourself um when friends would ask you know when it was i would just say hey you know end of the month or later the next year or just give a time frame but you don't have to say the day uh, if you're like me and just really need that space to just process what you're about to go into um yeah you know it's okay to just keep that to yourself and just share that when you pass if you ever want to share that you've passed it um that's my tip number one tip number two is going to be using this thing called pocket prep um i think it has a different name now but i will link it in my description bar below so that you can check it out um what i did was that i would literally do so many questions like a day and i mean they were like low-key annoying me because i wasn't like passing all of them but they were helpful in that they helped give explanations when you didn't get an answer right um um, and you can do like all types of just you know practice exams and you know daily questions and I thought that was just really helpful for me and just kind of getting that you know those brain juices flowing because after two years of practice you know we're having to relearn how to operate in the textbooks way of a social worker and no longer in like the day-to-day -day, you know hustle and bustle of it so it is a somewhat refreshing and relearning process that you have to go through which is totally fine you can do it i believe in you um but yes so i would say pocket prep was super helpful for me i bought the whole entire thing i said give it all to me i need access to everything okay so i did get access to everything and that was really helpful the third thing that i have down is imagine yourself passing so imagine yourself with that pass on your screen imagine yourself you know feeling excited and relieved that it's all behind you and it's all in the past just imagine success for yourself set yourself up for success mentally emotionally and verbally speak it speak that you are going to pass that you are going to succeed um, that it's going to be well um so yeah i would also say during the examination um take some deep breaths stop and pause if you need to um don't feel like you have to rush yourself through the exam when you really don't need to you have four hours to do 170 questions and you can get through them by pausing taking deep breaths and then continuing i think i had like an hour left an hour and 30 left of my exam um so you'll have more than enough time i mean i believe you will but if you feel like you won't use your time girl use your time bro i know you might need it 
Anywho, let's go ahead and move on to the next point. All right, so my next tip, buy a notebook, okay? This notebook was basically my study notebook, and I would literally just like write down like everything that I'm learning in it. I write down the acronyms, like uh, you can see there, LCSW, um, studying, <laughs> yeah, LCSW, exam studying. Child, I was so serious. I said, I'm gonna pass this exam. I am not playing with y'all. But anyways, I basically made this my journal for the weeks following um, up to the exam and it was super helpful. If you are like an external processor and need to get things out, writing really helps with like memory retention for me and for a lot of us out there. So if you know that's you, do it. If you think that's you, try it out. If you're more of a, I have to say it out to remember it, do it. If you have to get flashcards to remember that, do it, you know, do what's best for you, but do something, okay? Because it's a lot of information that you have to retain. So, um, yeah. I would also say that this book was helpful for me. This is the um, APGAR Social Work ASWB Clinical Exam Guide. Um, this was helpful. This was a lot of, of content, a lot of reading, um, but it was helpful. If you can find a way to um, learn your weaknesses or the areas that you are weak in, I would then say use this book to refresh on those weaknesses. Um, it's a big book, so I don't, I don't want to overwhelm you. I didn't overwhelm myself. I didn't read the whole thing, but I would say use this book to touch up on your weaknesses. Um, and also the app, uh, the, the pocket prep app, app also allows you to touch up on your weaknesses as well. Um, this is the 170 questions practice test by Apker. Um, and this is the, basically the same, you know, maker of this book. I will link these in my description bar as well. Um, and this was helpful because of course it gave, you know, excellent explanations of um, the questions you got wrong and just different things like that. So that was good. Um, those are basically the books that I use. There was another book that I used that I feel it's kind of irrelevant, it's a little outdated, so I don't really need to share that. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I did. Um, I studied for about a month before I took my exam. Yeah, I would say a good month before I took my exam. I scheduled it and then I pushed it back by I think a week or two. Um, and then I wanted to reschedule it and then I was like, no girl, just take this exam. Like you are literally going to keep dragging it out and you're going to keep on having to study. Like no ma'am, mm -mm, nope. So I was like, take this exam, knock it out and just live your life. And honestly, if you don't pass, you have three months to study and then you can retake it again. So it's not the end of the world. That's another tip. It's not the end of the world if you do not pass. I think that sometimes when we, I guess, experience a learning experience like not passing, um, we can feel like it's the end of the world and it's not, it's not. So just tell yourself, hey, it's not the end of the world. I have more chances. This is not the last chance I have. This is just a chance I have. So try reframing. That might help also calm yourself and make yourself less anxious for approaching the exam. All right, the last tip that I have is Resolution Today. So Resolution Today is basically a YouTube channel um, that is also really helpful. There's also another channel that I'm not remembering the name of the guy, but I will make sure to link all this in my description bar. Um, she was helpful in that she had a lot of really good acronyms, like Orphan, Annie, Pretty Little Girl, like basically how to remember the Freud, you know, stages of development, oral, anal, phallic, latency, all that kind of stuff. Um, so that was pretty helpful. She, ha she had a lot of acronyms that I used during the exam. Um, and I would also say don't get too caught up in the acronym of, you know, the order of how to do things. I actually can't even remember it anymore. Um, was it, um, uh, what is it? I can't remember the acronym anymore, but it's like the helping process acronym or what do you do first or what should you do? Don't get so strung up on that stuff y'all. Uh, just trust your knowledge. Trust your knowledge. That's all I have to say. Um, and think of it in the frame of right now, right here in this moment. Do I A, stand up in this session and go call my manager? No. Do I B, affirm the client and encourage them? That sounds better. So 
essentially what I'm trying to say is imagine yourself in the scenario, like literally play it out in your head and imagine yourself working through the scenario and select the answer that is best because all of them are right but there's only one best one. So that's kind of what I would advise for that. Um, for the LMSW exam, I didn't use acronyms at all. Um, and then for this exam, LCSW, I really didn't use those helping process acronyms as well. I just trusted trusted my, my, my knowledge and I put myself in the scenario. Um, yeah, so that's basically all I have for y'all. Um, it It's crazy, man, I mean, two years and then boom here we are and then now you're a fully licensed clinical social worker um so i'm really excited for you that is watching this video you that is just watching this video to learn tips on how to pass and also anyone who's watching this video that has may have failed in the past or not passed in the past um, i just wanted to encourage you to keep going to keep studying to keep fighting for that license and to let me know when you do get it or if you do get it because i would love to know you can comment below and i'll celebrate with you um but anywho i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up if it was helpful please let me know if you have taken the exam and can agree to some of these tips comment below if you have any tips of your own comment below like we're a community let's share let's you know get this information out to those who need it um so anyways again make sure to subscribe if you are new here <laughs> listen okay all the social worker merch give it all to me i love being a social worker i love this line of work i love the you know just the diversity of jobs that i can work in like the roles i can work in are insane the 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 amount of jobs that i can you know apply for and work as are incredible i could wear so many different hats as a social worker and that is just beautiful to me um so anywho i will chat with you guys later and have a wonderful rest of your morning day evening whenever you're watching this video bye y'all